Welcome to tutorialsinhand.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about how to write a Java program to calculate simple interest using method. In the previous video tutorial, we have already explained how to write a Java program to calculate simple interest, but that was without using method. So if you want to visit that tutorial first, go to the description section. The link is shared over there and then again revisit this tutorial to have better understanding. But if you are aware of that video tutorial and want to move ahead so let's move towards eclipse this is the program that we have seen in the previous video tutorial of writing how to calculate simple interest this is simply calculating the simple interest within the same place that is within main method but here what we are going to do is we are rather going to call a method that would calculate simple interest and return the value that is calculated to be stored in this variable simple interest. This is the method that would always calculate simple interest based on the principal rate and time that is provided to it by the method that is calling it. What we do is to call a method from some place we simply do this. Just copy this entire thing and just paste it over here. Now what you have to do is while passing the values when you call any method you don't have to provide type because type is already defined over here in the method or place from where you are calling it principal is already double so you don't need to define it over here and the same goes with these places you don't need to define the data type of any of these variables because they are already defined when you are calling it so what now you are doing is you are simply calling the method whose name is simple interest and it accepts three parameters that is principal rate and time and whenever you click on this method by pressing control and hovering over your mouse on this method you will see it gives you two options where open declaration or open implementation so if you click on this method it will take you to the place where this method is actually written so let's click on it see it passes you to the place where this method is written and it is accepting the principle that you have provided and now here you have to define the type because it needs to understand that the place which is calling it what kind of parameter that is passing and it will only be called when the type of your parameter matches the parameter that this method accepts so principle is double rate is double time is double so for example consider that time was integer and here you have int time then this method would not work because this method is something different so let's try now see this simple interest calculator is not getting called from anywhere that is compiler is giving alert that this method is not defined anywhere because it does not recognize the time to be integer and here we have time as integer so if you want to have the method as integer so what you can do is you can simply create another method as well and change its name to something else because two methods cannot have the same name and just replace this uh, bracket as well because the closing bracket for the complete class is at the end so now what happen what happens is this method simple calculator one is and change it to double now you see this time it will not have any problem or any alert from the compiler and once you press control and click on this method it will take you to the method simple interest calculator one that has all the parameters as double but this time this is not calling this method because the first thing is name is different and at the same time one of the parameter that is of integer type but when we are calling we are passing all the parameters as double value so this is the difference between these two methods and whenever you are writing any method you should be very very clear about these things i hope i have been able to make you understand this thing so let's move to the original situation where we have just one method and come back to the original place so just make it double as well so that the method is 
called easily without any issue now see the issues are resolved now now if you press control and press on this method again you will be coming to this place and this method accepts your principal rate and time and then use that to calculate the simple interest using the formula simple interest is equals to principal into rate into time divided by 100 and then it is returning that value which is in double data type to the calling method that is it will return the value to this place and the value would be stored over here and then you will print the value using this print ln method that is simple interest is equals to whatever the value of the simple interest would be so let's run and then try to understand how it exactly works now i will not explain this part because i have already explained this in the previous video where i have explained uh, how to calculate simple interest uh, without using method so these part are already explained if you want you can visit that so what we are doing is we are passing the principal value then it asks for rate let's enter rate as six percent and then it asks for time so let's enter 10 years now the simple interest is 60,000 that will be yielded using these values as parameter so what exactly is happening is whenever you are entering this one lakh the value is getting stored in this principal variable whenever you are entering six as rate the value is stored in the rate variable and whenever you are entering time as 10 this value is getting stored over here in time variable and then you are passing those values over here while calling the method simple interest calculator and then you have written the method simple interest calculator over here by making it clear that it accepts these values in the double format and then you calculate the value principal into rate into time divided by 100 and the value that you calculate is returned to this place and the 60,000 that you have calculated over here is returned to this place and it is assigned to simple interest and then you are printing simple interest is this and this is the line where it is getting printed so i hope you have been able to understand this clearly there is some other facts as well where you can simply change the name of the variables it is not required that while writing the variable you have to write the principal rate into time you can also write p r and t and you will be using that only in your formula as well because it does not uh, recognize this time what is principal what is rate what is time it does not know the variable this method does not have any idea about what this method variables are it is passing certain things in the format which it requires and using that it is having its own local variable and it uses its own local variable to calculate the value that will be the simple interest and then returns it to the calling method this is it for this video tutorial there is another catch uh, if you have seen we have declared this method as static we will discuss about this in some other video tutorial because it requires uh, its own space so let's wait for that time the i will share the link in the video description till then keep learning keep enjoying and thanks for watching the video till the end and we will request you to like and subscribe our channel to help us motivate and grow.